Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a really handy application called Commander Pi. Now, personally, I have only tested this on the Raspberry Pi 4 running Raspbian, otherwise known as Raspberry Pi OS. Commander Pi is an easy to use GUI or GUI interface that allows you to see all kinds of information about your Raspberry Pi without having to open up terminal. And in my experience, this has actually come in really handy, especially the overclocking feature. Now I'm going to show you how to use all this and I'm going to show you how to install it. But first up, let's just take a look here. As you can see, we have memory usage, actual CPU temp, processor frequency. This is in real time. So we're kind of idling right now at 600 megahertz and disk space usage right here. I have a 64 gigabyte card installed. We can also open up processor details, bootloader details, network. And I'm not going to open this up right now, but it'll give you all the information you need to know about your network, be it Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And my personal favorite, the overclocking feature. And in order to use the overclocking here, you will have to reboot once you've set your parameters, but it's super easy. Gives you a little guide here. These are mostly stable clocks right here. CPU at 2 gigahertz, GPU at 600 with an overvoltage of 6. And the max level right here for this Raspberry Pi and the firmware I'm using is 2.147 gigahertz on the CPU and 700 megahertz on the GPU with that overvoltage of 6. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. I'm just going to go to 2 gigahertz, so 2000 megahertz. We're going to set ARM frequency. You do have to click this. GPU, I'm going to go to 650. We'll need to set the GPU and we're going to overvolt everything by six. Set over voltage. Click apply and reboot. I'm going to go ahead and do this now and show you how to install Commander Pi on your Raspberry Pi. All right, so the overclock is applied. I've rebooted. I'm going to start Commander Pi up one more time here. You can see it jump up to two gigahertz right here. Processor details and our max megahertz or max speed of the CPU is now two gigahertz or 2000 megahertz. So yeah, it's really easy to use for monitoring your Raspberry Pi and overclocking it if you don't wanna mess with the config.txt manually. All right, so let's go ahead and install this. Link for this is in the description. I do wanna give a big shout out to Jack477 for coming up with this. This is also included in Raspbian X, iRaspbian, and the new Twister OS by Pi Lab and GrayDuck. So one thing that I've noticed with the GitHub here is if I clone to download, I just can't get it to work. But if we scroll down just a little bit and you'll see some information here on installing it. I mean, it's really easy to do. All you really need to do is read through this and you can get it installed. But I'm going to go ahead with this anyway. We're going to grab the Google Drive link. From here, we're just going to download it. It's going to go to our download section. Show in folder. From downloads, I'm going to extract it here. Right click. Extract here, and I'm actually going to place this right in my Pi folder. So Home, Pi. Now we have Commander Pi located in our Home Pi directory. We're going to go into the Commander Pi folder, Tools, Open Current Folder in Terminal, and all you're going to do here, sudo chmod plus x, sudo chmod plus x, install.sh. This is going to make it executable. Press enter. Next, sudo dot forward slash install.sh. Press enter. And you'll now have it located on your desktop. Go ahead and close all this down. And that's it. We're going to open it up, execute in terminal, and you're now running Commander Pi. I'm still sitting with those settings that I had. As you can see, maximum frequency here is two gigahertz. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I definitely recommend trying this out. And another big thank you to Jack477 over on GitHub for getting this put together for all of us. Most of the time I just run commands in terminal to figure out my actual CPU temp and things like that. But having Commander Pi is really helpful. I can actually just leave it running while I'm doing tests over here and monitor everything that's going on with my Raspberry Pi from Commander Pi. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.